Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we'll cover testing and mocking with Python and PyTest. This is part of a multi-series video where we'll cover the fundamentals of testing with Python, patching, mocking, and many more other things. So without any further ado, let's jump into the code. So we are here in our IDE. So if we browse our project, we have some serializers, services, tests, utils, and models. So I'm gonna to go to the serializers, and here we have a base file, which has a base serializer. So essentially, this is a base class for serializing data to JSON and to XML. So in this case, we call a function called getData, and then we use the JSON package and we dump it with a data key and add the data. And similarly with the to XML function, we grab the data and then we create an element tree with a data key and then we look through all the elements, we create some sub elements, we add them and then we call the to string method of the element tree. Here we have get data, which is not implemented, which means it needs to be overridden. So this needs to be overridden by a concrete class. So if we go to the product, we have a serializer here that I created. It's called product serializer and it extends the base serializer. Okay. And this product serializer does a special thing. Essentially it gets an FX rate service. Okay and essentially it converts the price of the product based on the currency that you give it. So in this case, it uses the FX rate service and gets a current exchange rate from USD to the currency that you're um, providing. So for example, here you'd basically say to JSON or to XML, and you'd pass the to currency keyword and pass the currency that you want to convert it to. So this is trying to simulate, for example, if you've got a, um, a store that has products and you want to convert the price of the product based on the currency of your user, okay? So essentially this takes a uh, product. So if we go here, it's got a name, a description, and a price. Quite simple. So this could come from a database model, but in this case, we made a simple um, Python class. So what we want to do here is we want to test this. However, it's got a dependency to this FX RAID service. So what we want to do is we want to mock that. And this is where mocking comes into place. We mock things we don't want to test, which have been tested previously. So this affects rate service. We haven't tested it yet. However, we will test it in a future video, but we'll assume that it works. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll go in our tests here and we're going to create another package under unit. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to say new Python package. And then I'm going to call this serializers. Okay. And within serializers, we want to test the product serializer. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to say new Python file. And let's just say a unit test and let's call this test product, um, test product serializer. Okay. So here it's called it my test case. We'll call it test product serializer. It extends the test case from unit test. Okay. And here we'll say we want to test serializing to JSON. So I'm going to say test serialize to JSON. Okay. So what do we do here? So I'm going to open this here on the side so we can have a look. I'm going to close this. Okay. 
we don't need the base serializer and here we want to serialize to JSON. So what should we start doing? So first of all, we need a product, okay? So I'm gonna say product is equal to product and we're gonna import that from our modus and we're gonna pass a name and then just say product one and then we're gonna add a description and just say product one description this is not really important and here we're gonna say price and we're gonna add some price I'm gonna say 10 okay uh, we can split this so we have better visibility okay so we've got our product here and what we want to do here is we want to essentially make sure that our product serializer uses uh, the effects rate service and converts it correctly so I'm gonna say here that our effects rate is let's say 1.2 okay and let's just say here converted price is equal to the product dot price times the FX rate okay and this is where we're going to start using the mocks okay because we want to um, create something that is mocked or fake uh, for the purposes of this test in order for Python to replace it and not use the actual uh, foreign exchange rate service because we don't want to test that we're testing the serializer at the moment so what we're going to do is we're going to say mock current okay because this is essentially uh, mocking the uh, current exchange rate from a um, from a currency to a currency because we could have historical as well but in this case I'm going to say mock and we're going to import this from unitest.mock.mock okay and what we're going to say here is we're going to say return value okay and this is the value that we want the mock to return when it's called okay so in this case we want it to return the foreign exchange rate that we specified so I'm gonna say FX rate which is this one here and here we're gonna create the FX rate service so we're gonna say FX rate service okay and here we're going to create another mock so we're gonna say mock okay and here we're gonna say current okay and then we're gonna say mock current so what are we saying here we're saying that this is this FX rate service has an attribute called current and when it gets called it returns this here which in turn when it gets called it returns the FX rate so if I show you here we're calling current this this current here this function this method is what we're saying here okay so what we need to do now is we need to create a serializer so we're going to say serializer is equal to the product serializer and I'm going to import that from our serializers okay I'm going to instantiate it and if you remember it's it takes an FX rate service okay so we're going to say FX rate service is equal to the FX rate service and this is the mock we created because we want it to behave like the real FX rate service but we don't want it to call any external APIs or test the functionality of that. So we're basically saying if I call the current method of the FX rate service, regardless of what you pass in, I want you to return a 
FX rate, okay? Which is um, enough for our testing purposes. So what we wanna do here is we wanna get the data back from our serializer. So we're gonna say serializer, and I'm gonna say dot to JSON, and here we need to pass our product. So I'm gonna pass our product, and here we're gonna say to currency, and here it doesn't really matter what you put because we're not testing the actual implementation of the conversion rate, but we, we need to pass something, anything. So in this case, I'm going to say expected, and I'm going to create um, a JSON representation of a dictionary, okay? So first of all, let's create the dictionary, okay? This is a normal Python dictionary and we have the data attribute here. And then here we have the inner, which will be the name. And the name will be the name of the product. So we're gonna say product.name. Okay, I'm gonna duplicate this again. And here I'm gonna say description. And this will be description. And here we need a final one, which is the price, okay? So the price is not gonna be the pr product of price because we are converting it, okay? So here, this thing that we did here, the converted price, that's what we need to pass because it's the product price times the FX rate. So we're gonna say converted price, okay? So this should be enough. However, we need to wrap it in json.dumps, okay? So I'm gonna import json and then i'm going to say dot dumps okay we, because we want to get the json representation okay and then what we want to do is we want to make an assertion okay so we want to assert that our data that we got back from our serializer is equal to the expected data okay so what we want to do here is we're gonna to go to our terminal and we're going to say PyTest and then we're gonna say tests and we're gonna say unit and then we're gonna say, um, I think it was serializers, yes. And then it was test product serializer. So if we run this, the test passes because we are getting the correct converted price. And this is where you need to use mock in your test because you don't want to call the actual FX rate service because um, that would be costly. That, uh, maybe you're calling an external API and you've got a limit on your tokens and you're paying for them. So yeah, you do, and also you don't want to test that uh, the implementation and that the FX rate uh, works in this test because this test tests only the serializer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna test that it serializes to XML correctly as well. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna say test serialize to XML. Okay, so here, okay, we haven't tapped this correct. Okay, we need the self here. And what we're going to do here is we are going to do a similar thing to what we had here. So I'm gonna copy up until here. Okay, so same product is fine. And then what we wanna do here is we're gonna say data is equal to the serializer. And then we're gonna say two XML this time. And then we're gonna say product. And then we're gonna say to currency. Here, let's just put GBP, okay? Doesn't really matter. Uh, and here we're gonna say that we want our expected representation of XML to look like this. So we're gonna say expected. And then here we're gonna say is equal. And then I'm going to put a string. So XML looks like this. So we've got data, the data uh, attribute key, and then let's just put the closing data, just 
just to not forget about it. So we're going to say data. Okay. And then we want to put the name, the description and the price. So here we need name. And then we want the actual name of the product. So we're going to say product dot name. And then we need the closing tag as well. So this will be uh, the name. Then we're going to close that. I think that's correct. And I'm going to duplicate it a couple of times. And here we need the description. Okay, we're going to copy that there. And then here we need the price as well. So let's replace this. So here we need a description and in the end we want the converted price. Okay, so let's organize this a bit. Okay, and here we want to assert that our data is equal to the expected data. Okay, so we're going to go into our terminal again and we're going to rerun the test and now we should have two tests. Okay, and both tests pass. Okay, so now we're just going to make a bit of a cleanup. Okay, so let's go here and let's just create uh, the setup um, method. And here what we could do is we could copy uh, all of this stuff here. Okay, so we could delete it from here and we essentially need the serializer. So we're going to say self dot serializer. We're going to replace it here. Uh, okay, and then we need the product. So we're going to go here and we're going to say self dot product. Uh, what else? So here we need that to point there. Here we're going to say self dot product. Uh, the same here. So I'm going to do this two times. So I'm going to say self dot product. And here we need the converted price. So I'm going to go here and we say self dot converted price. And this should be enough. Okay. So I'm going to uh, rerun this test, but let's change this one as well before we do that. So here we just need to add self to all of these and we should be good to go. Okay. So we're going to say self dot. There you go. So this should work now. Okay. So we're reusing those uh, components and it works. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please like, comment and subscribe as this helps the channel grow. I upload new videos frequently, so if you want to get notified, please subscribe and click the notification bell to get notified. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.